Have you ever thought about if there is more to the world than what we can see? Do you find the idea of making your mind stronger and living in a higher level called the fifth dimension interesting? You're not the only one. Many people looking for spiritual answers are interested in this idea. Today we're going to talk about signs that you might be living in the fifth dimension based on what Joe Dispenza teaches. Joe Dispenza, a famous speaker and writer, spent a lot of his time studying how the human mind works and what reality is all about. He focused on things like meditation, how believing in something can make you feel better placebo effect, and how powerful our thoughts can be. He talked a lot about something called the fifth dimension. In his lessons, he describes the fifth dimension as a kind of new earth or a new time period where everything vibrates higher and is beyond what we usually see and feel in the third dimension. Imagine our normal life as the third dimension, where we use our senses to understand the world around us. Dispenza says the fifth dimension is like a better version of reality where love, togetherness, and growing spiritually are the most important things. It's not about moving to a new place, but about changing how we think and feel, a new way to see and live life. Think of our normal life as a place where we have limits, limits, and understanding things, and how we connect with others and in how we see ourselves. The fifth dimension is beyond these limits. It's a space where love and togetherness are more important than fear and being apart. It moves away from just chasing things we can own or achievements and instead focuses on the deeper parts of life that touch our soul. The fifth dimension isn't a far-off place you can't reach. It's more about how we live and think, and it's something we can work towards. Dispenza tells us that changing to this way of living isn't something that just happens to us, it's something we have inside us that we can bring out. It means living in a new, different way. You might start noticing small changes in everyday life. In the fifth dimension, you could feel a big change inside. It's as if one day you wake up feeling more in touch with your gut feelings and a deeper understanding of spiritual things. Your mind opens up more than before, letting you connect better with who you really are inside. You start to feel a strong feeling inside guiding you to do the right thing. You might also start having clear dreams that seem to tell you important things. Things you used to care a lot about, like having lots of stuff, don't seem as important anymore. Instead, you want to do things that make your heart happy and help others. You start asking yourself, how can I help and make others feel good? This change is about focusing less on winning or getting things from the outside world and more on feeling good because of what's inside us. It's about feeling connected with everyone and everything, instead of feeling separate. When we look at people, we see the good in them instead of judging. Being kind and understanding comes naturally, and we feel connected to all life. Small problems and judgments that once seemed big don't bother us anymore. We become part of a bigger family that wants to get along and work together. One intriguing aspect of the fifth dimension is the shifting nature of time. Unlike the linear and rigid concept of time in the third dimension, time in the fifth dimension takes on a different quality. Moments of timelessness may occur, where worries and anxieties about the past and future fade into insignificance. Synchronicities, meaningful coincidences, become regular occurrences in your life. It feels as if the universe is guiding you, presenting the right people, opportunities, and events at precisely the right moments. In the fifth dimension, healing takes on a holistic dimension. It's not just about physical well-being, but extends to every aspect of your being physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. Past traumas and limiting beliefs surface not to haunt you, but to be embraced and transformed. Engaging in practices like energy healing, meditation, or other holistic approaches facilitates this deep healing, resulting in a profound sense of liberation. At the core of the fifth dimension is heart-centered living. Love, compassion, and forgiveness become the very essence of your existence. Every thought, action, and decision is guided by the power of love. Your heart, once confined to a small corner of your being, now expands to encompass your entire existence. Acts of kindness, empathy, and compassion become your currency as you recognize the interconnectedness of all life. As we continue our exploration of the fifth dimension, 
Another noteworthy sign of this transformative shift is the ease with which manifestation occurs. This aspect is not about magical thinking or wishful dreaming, but reflects a change in the fundamental dynamics of how thoughts and intentions interact with the universe. In the fifth dimension, there is a noticeable shift in the nature of thoughts and intentions. Instead of being entangled in the denser energies of fear and doubt prevalent in the third dimension, these mental aspects are now infused with the higher frequency of love and trust. This shift signifies a departure from a mindset of scarcity and limitation to one of abundance and possibility. Your thoughts and intentions in the fifth dimension act as seeds planted in the fertile soil of the universe. Unlike the resistant soil of the third dimension, the soil in this dimension is rich and receptive, ready to nurture and support your dreams. The positive energy you emit becomes a magnetic force that draws your desires toward you. It's not about wishful thinking, but a recognition that your mental state profoundly influences the energetic fabric of the universe. In this dimension, the universe responds more readily to your thoughts and intentions. Synchronicities become more prevalent, aligning with your goals and desires. The right people, opportunities, and events seem to show up at precisely the right time, as if orchestrated by a higher intelligence. It's a realization that your mental landscape is a dynamic force in shaping your reality, and the universe is responsive to the energy you emit. In the journey toward the fifth dimension, a notable sign of this consciousness shift is the sense of detachment from drama. This doesn't imply a disinterest in life's events, but rather a transformative perspective on challenges and conflicts. Detachment from drama signifies a shift in how individuals approach and engage with the UPS and downs of life. Detachment from drama involves recognizing the ego-driven nature of many conflicts and challenges. In the third dimension, individuals are often entangled in personal and societal dramas fueled by ego desires, attachments, and the need for control. As one transitions into the fifth dimension, there's a realization that much of the drama is rooted in ego-driven pursuits, and engaging in them only perpetuates suffering. Detachment involves understanding that many conflicts are rooted in ego-driven desires and attachments, whether on a personal or societal level. Recognizing the source of conflict as ego-driven allows for a more compassionate and empathetic response. Rather than getting caught up in emotional turbulence, there is an acknowledgement that true change often begins with inner transformation, and addressing the root causes is more effective than engaging in the drama itself. Detachment brings forth compassion and empathy in the face of conflict. Individuals in the fifth dimension approach conflict with a deeper understanding of the human experience. Instead of reacting with judgment or aggression, there is a genuine desire to understand the perspectives of others. This compassionate approach contributes to a more harmonious resolution, recognizing the shared humanity that underlies diverse experiences. Individuals in the fifth dimension understand that true change begins with inner transformation. Detachment is not about avoiding or ignoring challenges, but recognizing them as opportunities for personal and collective growth. By focusing on inner transformation, individuals contribute to a ripple effect that extends beyond the self, influencing the broader collective consciousness. Detachment also manifests as less entanglement in the dramas of others. There is a realization that personal growth and inner peace are hindered by becoming excessively involved in the conflicts and challenges of those around you. This doesn't imply apathy, but rather a discernment in choosing where to direct energy and attention, prioritizing inner well-being and contributing positively to collective harmony. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more insightful content.